Everybody you're gonna beat Bivol in a rematch. I respect him, he's a great champion, but I know Canelo. No, I know, I know, I know me too, so I know, I know I'm gonna beat him in the, in the rematch. Tank or Ryan, what do you think? It's a big fight? Tank uh, has more experience, has more, more things in his boxing skills. I think uh, Tank, but it's gonna be a, a good fight. Canelo has been very fond of Tank Davis for a long time. He believes Tank Davis' experience and skill level is levels above Ryan Garcia. Remember, Canelo and Ryan Garcia was in the same camp. And Canelo accused Ryan Garcia of wasting his talent, not really working hard when he was with Eddie Reynosa, being lazy. And that laziness, according to Canelo, may have prevented Ryan Garcia to develop those skills to compete with Tank Davis at this time. He did say Ryan Garcia would give him a good fight, but he gives Tank Davis the win. The quote of Mike Carpenter, I like call him Mike Capture sometimes for some of the stories he report, says Javante Davis and the Ryan Garcia fight could be in jeopardy over the rematch clause. Ryan Garcia's team feels if they beat Javante Davis, the rematch should be shown on the zone. Tang's team believes the rights should still belong to the PBC networks. My opinion is, and it's just an opinion from a fight fan, I'm no expert or nothing, but if Ryan Garcia wants to fight that bad, he's not gonna let the little rematch clause like this get in the way. With that being said though, if Ryan Garcia goes there and knocks out Javante Davis, with Ryan Garcia's popularity and win, I think he becomes the A-side. So if he's the A-side, it should be on his network, which is the zone. Just my opinion. Canelo is also reminding us that he will win the rematch against Bivol. Regardless what anybody thinks, I mean, even his fans are doubting that Canelo can win the rematch. But I told you how Canelo is. Canelo's gonna continue to go for greatness. I just hope if he does take this rematch, like I said before, it's at 175. Have it at 175, don't leave any doubts. Clean victory. And while we're talking about 168, Eddie Hearn has cleared up that situation. Canelo is not the one asking for 168. Eddie Hearn wants the fight to take place at 168 for Dimitri Bivol. Bivol has made it clear he wants legacy. And since there better be a fight, has been blocked by the WBC. Eddie Hearn feels the best way for Dimitri Bivol to become undisputed is go down to 168 and fight for Canelo's belts. Like I told you before, Canelo wanted the rematch at 175. I never heard Canelo say that I want the rematch at 168. He always said the rematch will take place at 175 because he's also going for legacy. Now, if you have any links that saying Canelo said he wants to fight at 168, leave them in the comment section. I've been wrong before. Also, Eddie Hearn feels that Dimitri Bivol is a small light heavyweight. He makes 175 pretty easy. Why not go for undisputed at 168? I also heard Bivol a couple of times say the eliminated excuse is he would fight Canelo at 168 but he'd rather have the fight at 175. Anyway, leave your thoughts and comments below. Jay Beasy, I'm gone.